Good evening everyone, just coming on to share a project with you that I am making in collaboration with Bead Park. Uh, they very kindly sent me some items to review on my channel and um, among them was this bead mat. Now this necklace that you can see that I've laid out here, um, this amethyst coloured um, beads was belonged to somebody who I live with and she asked me if I could alter it because the the beads weren't balanced so and in fact one side was longer than the other when uh, I came to measure it and also the beads were not um were not even so you know, when I found the middle they weren't the same the, the distribution wasn't the same on both sides so I had to take it apart. Now it was, um, uh, what's that, knotted. The, the necklace was knotted and I don't know how to do knotted necklace and I don't have the thread or anything to, to do that. So I've had to use my initiative to um, make this necklace um, the length that she wants it. She wanted it a little bit shorter than, than, than the original and the original was 26 inches. So I, what I have done is I've placed these amethyst beads, these were the main beads, and of course without the knots the necklace was much smaller and I think it came to like 14 inches or maybe 15 inches, so that wasn't long enough. So I looked in my stash and I have found, well I found two silver beads, these ones, two of these silver beads, so I put them at the at the front together with one this bead is actually a bit smaller than than the others on the other on the either side, but I had an uneven number of these smaller beads, so I thought it would look okay there. So so I've done that, and then I in between each of the beads. Whoops, I I hope I find that one because I haven't got any more. I found these um these um they're kind of like opalescent and they're a purpley colour. And I think they go quite well with with the beads. So I've popped one of those in between each and I've, I've spaced it out around the board. Now, as the beads get smaller, um, so obviously it takes more beads to fill up the space. But I didn't have enough of those opalescent beads. So as I got to the smaller ones, I found these ones which uh, are darker. I think there's kind of a black or brown actually but they don't look they look purple in the in the light so um so i've put those there in between so just going to see if i can find the bead that dropped on the floor i found it i'm lucky because <laughs> I didn't have any more. So anyway, so what I've done is I've cut a length. So anyway, so I've put it on the board and it, it's now measuring 24 inches all spaced out. So I found this board absolutely fantastic for, for doing this sort of thing because you can move the beads around, you can put, do your layout, you can see how long the things are going to be. And um, and then, you, you know, you can, you've got pockets here and here. You've got one, two, three, six little little um pockets where you can put things and i've actually put some of these um silver bead caps in this middle one because i want to, at the beginning i want to use one of those with each bead on on each side of the bead just to give it a bit more um definition so i've cut a piece of this fishing wire which I got from Bead Park um, this is a non-elastic one and I've already attached the I can't find the where the camera is I've already attached the little clamp at, at one end which will that will be attached to the clasp so I'm just going to start threading um, and um, and we'll go from there so I think it's it's such a rewarding thing to do and um, I have to say that you know I've discovered jewelry making and I love it 
I made some earrings and necklaces and a bracelet. So uh, one of each of those items, I mean, an item for each one of my housemates. And I put them in the crackers and they had such fun. Um, you know, when we came to pulling the crackers and of course I tried to do it so that they were tailor-made for each person. So I had to label the crackers and they had to sit at, you know, in the designated places, which uh, that doesn't normally happen in my household. Normally we sit where we like around the table, but um, they had such fun. So, so anyway, so this um, bead mat is, it's, it's very light and it's got kind of like a flocking on it here here so um it doesn't you know the, the beads don't sort of roll off it. Uh, it they kind of stick to it a bit which is great so um i'm coming down this side now and um probably can't see at all what i'm doing i'm just i'm just picking one up and threading it on Oops. and then the next one I was a bit worried that this um, cut, this fishing wire was going to be too thick, but it's not. It is quite stiff, but um, I don't think that matters. Um, so here you can see, you know, this is the start of the necklace. Yeah. Um, I haven't started using the silver bead caps yet because I just want to wait until I, I get to some of the bigger beads which I'm just getting to now so I'm going to put on a silver bead cap and then a bigger bead so I was really pleased with the things that um, Bead Park sent me they, they were a bit different um, they all seem very good quality and uh, I'm looking forward to sharing a few other projects with you as I get going. So here we can see now I've used one of the silver the silver bead caps there. So it just kind of gives it a bit more definition. So let's continue with that. I suppose as well it's going to make the necklace a bit longer. Um, but these are very fine so I think it won't be too bad. Mm. I'm not really an expert in making jewellery. Uh, I've only started a few months ago. Um, and I've just picked up what I know from YouTube, really. So if any of you have any tips or, um, you know, you see that I'm doing something wrong or it could be better done a different way, I would be very grateful if you, if you uh, contact me and tell me in, in the comments below. Um, so I'm going to just pause the video now until I've got to the end of this because I'm sure you don't really want to see me um, just threading beads onto the necklace. And I want to show you the finished effect at the end. Um, I think they're going to be very nice. So I'm going to put you on pause and I'll be back shortly. So here we are. I'm back now. I finished the, the beading. Um, so this is how the necklace has turned out. Um, I think it's very pretty. I'm just not sure whether it's going to be long enough. <laughs> so before I put the clasp on it, I want to, um, I want to, to, you know, for my friend to try it. So um, just trying to see how I can bring it up. So this is the, the middle bit here and then I go around here and <laughs> along here. So that's, that's how it's turned out. And I have to say that the beading mat was so, so, so useful that um, I can definitely recommend one of these. It was only 89p or something from Bead Park. Um, very, very cheap, but very, very useful. Um, it is, as I say, it's very light. It is only plastic. Um, 
you know, would need to be to treat it carefully, otherwise it could um, easily snap, you know, if it gets caught in something. But if we treat it as it should be used, then it should be fine. So um, that's all I have to show you today. I'd like to take this opportunity of thanking Bead Park for uh, allowing me to to um, purchase some things from their catalogue to um, to uh, showcase for you, and um, and I will leave a, a link in the description box below to all the products and uh, there is a discount code as well if you should want wish to purchase from them uh, they their prices are very good um, their speed of delivery was very good everything came within um, within 10 days of, of my ordering them which is what they said um, and I, know, I can't fault them really. Um, I'm very pleased with everything that I got. But anyway, as I say, I will be back on um, at another moment to share a few more projects with you. Bye for now and thanks for watching.